Hi everybody, it's Jill Blanchett with Green Thumb Stampers. I'm here today for a no frills tutorial for my Finally Friday. I'm going to show you a three panel pull out card. I'm, doesn't, I haven't found an official name for it anywhere, so we're going to call it a three panel pull out card. So stay tuned, I know you're going to like it. This week we're going to make this card, this style. We're not making this card, but we're going to make this style of card. And my mom gave me a sample of this. She mocked one up to show me how to do it. So we're going off from hers and I don't know the name of it. Uh, I'm going to call it like a pull out trifold card. I'll see if I can, before I post it, um, the video, I'll see if I can come up with the actual name of it. But this is what we're going to make this week. Set that over here. So you're going to start with a nine and a half by four and a quarter inch piece of paper. You're going to score it at one inch. Uh, I gotta make sure I stay in frame, sorry. I'm gonna score it at one inch. And then I'm gonna turn it and score it at two inches. And then we're going to do the other end at one inch and two inches. If you are using like a scoreboard or something other than this, you want to score it at one inch, two inch, seven and a half, and eight and a half. If you're sliding it along or scoring it, so one, two, seven and a half, and eight and a half. Then you're going to turn the paper the long way with the short side up at the top and you're going to score at one inch only to your first line. So you're going to score at one inch up to that line on my trimmer it's at one inch. So we're just going to score up to the one inch and then you could pull the scoring blade down and score up from the bottom at one inch. You could turn it around like this and score it again. I gotta get my thing up there. Score it again down to one inch. So is that showing up in there I hope? We're gonna score at to the first line in one inch on both ends. Score. So at one inch down, you're going to score to that first line from the edge. Then we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut from, I can't tell if you could see my lines, but the second score line to that first score line at an angle. And then cut off the score line you just made. So it will look something like that. We're going to do that on the other half. We're going to start at that second score line and go at an angle down to the first score line. And then trim it off. So here's what we have left. We're just going to crease on those folds real good. or crease on the score line, sorry. Okay, so now it looks like this. Set that aside for a second. We have two pieces that are Two and a half inches by three and a quarter inches. We're going to score at three quarters. And I'm going to turn that around and score at one and three quarters. So I'll do this one this way. We're going to score the first line at three quarters of an inch. Then we're going to move it up to one and three quarters of an inch. Then 
And now we've got these two panels. You're just going to fold those scores and then burnish those score lines to try and get a real crisp fold. All right, so now I'm going to show you an, um, I'm going to use a white piece of paper for a minute. So hang on. I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to show you with white paper and I'm just going to tack it down very lightly and then I'll stop and go and do it again and um, put the purple, the fresh fuchsia in. But I wanted to show you using white paper so that you could get an idea of the, um, like the contrast. So you're going to take this piece that you just scored and you're going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back, more than I am here because I'm going to peel mine back up. But you're going to put it to the top of your fresh freesia base. So put the fold over along the edge because you'll see the white piece is a little bit shorter than this fresh freesia. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, if it was for bulk, that um, wherever my mom found the instructions, she um, didn't put it all the way over to the edge, but, or, yeah. So glue it to the edge of your little flap here, like that. And then you'll do the same on the other side. So add some glue and then put the next piece over on the other side doing the same thing. I'm going to put it up to the edge of that piece. And so it's going to have a little bit. I didn't put that on there very straight. I apologize. So now you're going to have these two pieces sticking out like this. All right. And then... Our next piece is going to, we're going to build from there. So then the next piece is going to glue to the inside here. And then our final piece will glue on top. So I'm going to stop and take my whites off and put my purples on. Just so I wanted, again, for you to see this in a contrasting color. So hold on. All right, I got them back on there. So now moving forward. We have two pieces that are in our fresh freesia base color. These measure two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then you're going to use some designer paper of some sort, and that is at two and a half by three and a half. And I used the butterfly paper from the annual catalog the six by six pack. I'm just going to glue that on. And if you like to do on the eighth with a little bit less border, you can certainly do that. You got two of those. And I know we don't normally do this much decorating in our no frills tutorials, but we kind of, I just wanted you to see it. And as I was showing you the steps, might as well be jazzing it up. So we've got these two panels and as I said it's going to go on this inside and cover up where you just glued this piece on. So I'm going to put my adhesive on the inside. It wants to tear my paper today. And then put it up to the edge where your fold is. Line it up on the base and the sides and glue that down. Go ahead and put the other one on the other side. Some strong adhesive. Tearing that paper right from the get go. And we're going to glue this one on that side.
Now mine do overlap a little bit. I'm not sure if they're supposed to, but I'm going to say they are. And then now we're going to put on this last flap here. So we've got two panels at two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then our designer layer is two by three. So we're going to glue those on the top. And they go right here. Now, I'm going to suggest that you put your glue on just this piece because where this hangs over or is sh short, you don't want to glue on there or it's not going to open. So we're going to put our adhesive on this piece with some adhesive that we can just roll through and know that it's going to work. And then you're still going to line up your panel over to the edge so that you kind of like your little borders all match is my thinking and then there we go we'll put our adhesive over on this side keep that flat bring our panel over make sure we're lining up and then we're going to stick that down. And there we go. There's our card base all ready to go. So now for the inside, we have a four inch by five and a quarter inch panel of some coordinating paper from the pack. Then I have a three and a half by four and three quarters inch layer. Of basic white that you're going to put on the inside and you want to make sure it stays below this card edge here so that it stays I'm going to call it hidden when the card is closed so you want to put put it a little bit below what you would think is center so that it goes down in there when the card is closed then I have a small frame that I cut out of the scallop contours dies that you'll just can put on the front put some type of a frame there to help I'm just gonna put a little glue on that and then you can uh, help with the greeting help uh, give them a little bit of what the cards about you know birthday uh, thinking of you whatever so there's our card our no frills tutorial for this week and there you have it pretty easy you just got to keep track of which pieces go where the um, piece that you're going to score twice that you're going to add on to extend out the sides that's going to be the one that's going to mix you up the most because you have three sets of two cards stocks and that would be the one where you might score the wrong one or something but it's a great card if you go ahead and make it post it here on the video or put it on my Facebook group that's open to the public. It's called Green Thumb Stampers Creativity in Bloom and it's there just to showcase what you're working on. So have a great weekend and I'll be back again. Thanks everybody.